Okay, here we go. We're gonna bring these into the training pen because they're running rabbits a little bit. And what is this is fenced here to keep the rabbits in. That's correct. Keep the rabbits. It serves two purposes: one to keep the rabbits in under control, and two keep the predators out. Mm -hmm. uh, Foxes, at least. Fox and house cat being the uh, most difficult uh, of our predators. Now you have dogs already in here. That's correct. Now these are young dogs. They're just barely six months. Uh, they're in here. They're not started yet to track and run rabbit. But bringing them out here every day, hopefully we get that accomplished. Mm -hmm. Bringing these guys in that are running rabbits, we'll see if we can stir up the rabbits and get these encouraged to okay. run rabbits also. So th this is a part of your training deal, how you train beagles. That's correct. That's correct. These ones that we had in here are, are a little smaller and they're a little younger. Yeah, we can see they're smaller. And they'll want to play a little bit. They'll want to play some. And uh, What is a pretty girl? Yeah, is this Lizzie? No, no, that's Muff. Muff. We got <laughs> Muff and we got Lizzie. <laughs> and we got Lou. Now, do you leave these dogs on the, on the lead or turn them loose? No, we'll turn them loose. We just keep them on lead to get them out here in the brush a little bit to see, uh, because the other the dogs I have on the lead, when I turn them loose, they will hopefully go out and find a rabbit rather than play for us. So let's uh, turn them loose. As you can see, we got a lot of brush piles in here, and hopefully there'll be a, a rabbit under under every brush pile. Well, you can see the difference between the puppies and right. the experienced dogs, because they're hunting, and the puppies are yeah. All over John here. <laughs> yeah, the puppies are jumping all over John, but the, these dogs that are out there hunting now, they use the word experience. Now, they're very young. They haven't gone through a hunting season yet. Mm -hmm. They have just uh, come along this last uh, three, four months. Of course, they're two months older, so naturally uh, they're starting to mature. And It's amazing that two months make such a difference, but a six-month-old beagle is just discovering its deep-seated instinct to follow cottontails. Come on, come on, youngsters. Try it down here. There's a bunny right down there. Try it down right, here. Right down there, going right over the... Try it down here. There, see right there, John? Try it there, down John? here. It's right Try at the base here. of... The, there goes ducking under there. And it's... Try it down here. There it goes. Come on, try it down here. There goes one there. Try it down here. Try it down here. Try it down here. Now maybe that dog that they're training over there will this pick up this rabbit down it. here. Oh. Working with these young okay, pups th takes a... Here's the bunny over here working uh -huh. its way around. Will this bunny circle? Oh, th this being a small area, yeah, they, they there will keep running there in this uh, smaller area. Giving us uh, many times to work the dogs on. And it takes patience. You get these dogs are not showing interest. Of course, it's, the temperatures are cooler, so you just have to have patience with them and keep working around and enjoy being outdoors. Mm -hmm. If you don't enjoy being outdoors, <laughs> you're in the wrong business training young dogs. Do, you, do they come when called or not? These, these young dogs? Well, any no. beagle. N not naturally, they won't. But they will if you, if you work them on a training on a whistle. We, uh, we try to use a, a whistle in our training program to get them to come into a whistle. And uh, there are ways Excuse in which me, to definitely encourage them to come this, into a this whistle. This is cracking me up here. These <laughs> dogs, I don't know who's, who's the leader. Uh huh. But they are sticking together in a tight group. Yeah. But that's how they learn. There's got to be other, other rabbits in here. Look at oh, them. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now the, the dog that's ahead, that's the older one. Right, uh huh. And this one down here that's working. But you know, already, this is, uh, whoa, this is the first time that those dogs have ventured this far away from you. And the reason they've done it is that other dog is going out. And so without that other dog in here, then they probably would not. Now there again is a seven month old dog that's running. Maybe we can get some video or get a look oh, at the- Oh, uh, here Look at the rabbit too. There's one, two, three, four. <laughs> and here comes the beagle. <laughs> now over here, we got rabbits all over. Look at them, they're coming through the whole group of beagles. There's a rabbit that way. It comes right up by it. Yo! <laughs> it can be a circus. Uh, you're just watching the 
the dogs work. Now that one there is running. She's been running probably, she started as a young, about four months old. Now she's seven months old. Her sire was one of our better dogs, a dog that we got there called Wat T's Bojack. That, that population. Now here we come, right here. Look at this. Now that, that dog lost the track. That'll go back and find it because that rabbit shot over that way into that brush pile. No, he did. Yeah, a unique study of the difficulty in tracking cottontail, the fact they don't run straight very long. Mm -hmm. The fact that it did make that cut, and that's how the dogs tested. If we were judging, of course, we would observe the dog that went back immediately and went and found the scent. Now, it's in the brush, uh, it's in the pile. brush pile. You'd expect the, the bunny to come squirting out. Right. In, within that brush pile, there's wooden pallets, and there's also four-inch plastic tubes if the rabbit does not want to come out. Mm -hmm. uh, and some days they, they come out real easy, other days they just don't want to run. But uh, hopefully these young dogs will go in there and force the rabbit out. It is interesting how those young pups are learning. They yes. are, yes. they're really following the older dog. That's right. This is what you call professional beagle training in George Perman's methods using a five acre pen of live cottontail rabbits can teach a puppy in a matter of weeks what sometimes takes years for a dog to develop. Now, watching a beagle work a track is a lot of fun, and many owners enjoy it even more than hunting. Oh, these little beagles are so cute. Doesn't it make you want one?